Hello, and welcome to Storytime with Miss J. I hope all of you are having a wonderful Friday like me. If you're having a wonderful Friday, shout really loud so I can hear you, okay? Oh my goodness. I'm so glad all of you are having a wonderful Friday. Now, I'm Miss J, but I want to know all of your names. Say your name really loud so I can hear it, okay? Oh, okay. So we have Amelia and Hazel and Jenny and Trevor and Cindy and Lee and Helene and Art and David and Charlie and Jimmy and Jessica and Francesca and Nicole. Oh, so many wonderful friends here with us watching at home. Fridays are my favorite day because I get to spend the afternoon with all of you and read you these wonderful, amazing books. Today, we'll be reading I Am Enough, written by a New York Times bestseller, Grace Byers. Pictures by Katura A. Bobo. <laughs> now, to read the sleeve. Like the sun, I'm here to shine. I Am Enough is an essential book for everyone. An inspiring lyrical ode to loving who you are, respecting others, and being kind to one another. From actor and activist, Grace Byers, and talented newcomer, Katura A. Bobo. Ooh, I'm excited. I can't wait to hear what, what's in store. <laughs> I am enough, and you are enough. enough. Like the sun, I'm here to shine. Like the voice, I'm here to sing. Have any of you ever just done this with your friends, dressed up and had a singing party? <laughs> I love how they're all singing together. <laughs> I always think that's so much fun. Like the bird, I'm here to fly and soar high over everything. Like the trees, I'm here to grow. Like the mountains, here to stand. Like time, I'm here to be and be everything I can. Ooh, that looks like fun. They're all doing handstands. Miss Jay can't even do a handstand. Can any of you do a handstand? Or do you know anyone that can do a handstand? That's pretty impressive. Like the champ, I'm here to fight. Like the heart, I'm here to love. I love that because even though friends may fight or even compete against each other, doesn't mean that you don't like each other. It means that you just have the drive and motivation. You can still love each other or like each other. Like a ladder, here to climb, and like the air, to rise above. I love that. Like the wind, I'm here to push. Like a rope, I'm here to pull. Like the rain, I'm here to pour and drip and fall until I'm full. And I love in this picture how one little girl is helping another little girl with her wagon of toys. I love that. Because you pull and push with friendship and with yourself too. Like the moon, I'm here to dream. Like the student, I'm here to learn. I love that. Who else loves learning? I know Miss Jay loves learning. I know Shimmer loves learning too. <laughs> And what do you guys love learning about? I know that Miss J loves learning about history, fashion, and singing, and dancing, and all different types of stuff. Like the water, here to swell. Like the fire, here to burn. Like the winner, I'm here to win. And if I don't, get up again. That's very important to remember.
If you don't win, just get up and try again. There's nothing wrong with that. I know that I may sometimes cry, but even then, I'm here to try. Exactly. And it's okay to cry in front of your friends and ask for help and for you to help a friend if they're crying or upset. I know, at least for me, when I'm upset, I love going to my friends or family and just talking to them. And that always makes me feel better. Does that make you guys feel better too? When you talk to someone that you care about? I'm not meant to be like you. You're not meant to be like me. Sometimes we will get along and sometimes we will disagree. And that's exactly it. And it's okay if we disagree or, or agree, just as long as we respect each other. And I love in the photo how even though, yes, this girl's in a wheelchair, doesn't mean that she can't play jump rope or do anything that these other girls can do. Because even though you may not be good at one thing, doesn't mean that other people aren't good at that thing. And vice versa, you may be awesome at other things, but to other people, they might not be good at that at all. So as long as you lift each other up and, and support each other and encourage each other for your strengths and help each other on your weaknesses, that makes a great friend. I know that we don't look the same. Our skin, our eyes, our hair, our frame. But that does not dictate our worth. We both have places here on earth. And in the end, we are right here to live a life of love, not fear. To help each other when it's tough. To say together, I am enough. The end. Next week, I'll be reading Strictly No Elephant written by Lisa Manchev, illustrated by Taeyun Yu. If you enjoyed today's story, check out my other videos where we also read other fun, diverse, and interesting stories. Thank you so much for joining us for Storytime with Miss J. I really hope you enjoyed today's book. Until next time, have a great Friday. Bye!